Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday market webcast. All right, it's 921 Eastern Time. I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. I tweeted out yesterday after the close, and we talked yesterday morning. Look, there were a set of things that the Bears needed to do. They did all that stuff. Nine-day, 20-day, weekly pivot. They held them. They sealed them off. They closed below. What you can see we're dealing with now is 50-day exponential moving average. It's the red line. You can see the purple line coming through that. That's a 200 day exponential. This is all in the continuation chart. Uh, the 100 day is underneath, um, you know, sitting uh, right in and around uh, uh, 3990 ish. Um, yeah, my bad. Um, so on the hourly, you can see weekly pivot, 20 day, 9 day, pre FOMC price. All sealed off yesterday. We stressed that it really needed to hold that 40, 40, 90 area. I think 89 something was the was the high of the day. So it held that. Did a very good job of holding the hourly mid band. Now, we spent a couple hours or parts of a couple of hours above the hourly mid band, which is sitting right at around 40.10. You see the monthly pivot. It tried to deal with it yesterday. It couldn't. Broke below it a little bit there. Came down, printed that 50. The job for the Bears today, number one, don't give up any of this ground here. Number two, you've got to deal with monthly. You've got to deal with the hourly pivot. So this little consolidation you can see starting to happen here on the Bollinger Bands, that needs to resolve in favor of the Bears. Now look, every day for the Bears doesn't have to be a 2% down day, Wiley Coyote off a cliff and everything that follows. What it does need to be is just a consistent ability to fight off these little profit-taking bounces and not letting them turn into multi-day, multi-week face ripper rallies, okay? My concern is it's, it's no different than when we go up for a while, everybody thinks we're all going to climb on unicorns and ride the fucking rainbow over to the lollipop forest and stay there forever. When we're going to go down, we think that the, that the moon is going to crash into the earth. Everything is going to burn down in this, you know, glorious Armageddon of a thing. All because both sides, they can't trade. They can only be all the way long or all the way short. And they want to be right more than they want to make money. So when it goes down, they party. When it goes up, they bitch and moan or vice versa. We are traders. Don't fall into that bullshit. Trade price. Respect risk. Have a plan. Don't fall for that stuff. Okay? What did we do yesterday? We were short. Why? Because the market was going down. What were we doing when the market was going up? We were long. Why? Because the market was going up. I'm not putting my Michael Jordan Bulls jersey on or my Mike Singletary Bears jersey on. I Just, just trade price. Don't fall for the noise. You have to separate the noise, the news, whatever, the macros, the fundamentals, all this stuff from what's happening on that chart. Because on that chart is the only level playing field you're going to get. So what do the bears need to do today? Well, you need to print some stuff with 39s on it. And ideally, you need to close in the 39s. Doesn't really matter where. Just... Prove that you can trade down into the 3900s and stay there. What do the bulls need to do? The opposite. Hold that hourly mid-band. Try to climb back above daily pivot if you can and hold it there. Because if you do that, then everybody's going to start to wonder. Oh, is this the latest low? They can't take out 4000 They can't take out monthly pivot. They can't take out the 50 Well, what the hell? Why don't we go back up to weekly pivot and see what that looks like? That's what's really at stake today on a pr from a price perspective. Okay? So short and sweet, I'll get out of your way. Uh, volume weighted average price and our proprietary moving average right now are jammed in at 40.10, hourly mid at 40.11, five minute mid 40.13. That four to five handle deal though, there is gonna be important off the open. All right, take care, trade them well, block out the noise. It's great entertainment. It's really shitty advice and shitty trading. Take care, trade them well, be good. I'll talk to you tomorrow.